Hey there, Scipio here, and we're going to do some quick bench testing today with my Dual Sky motors and 11-inch uh, props. These are Dual Sky XM4010 MR 6.5s. And what I want to do is find out what my expected maximum amp draw with six of these motors would be on my system. So I've got it strapped down to a table, uh, and I'm just going to test two different motors to kind of get a, a delta and make sure I get uh, at least two tested. Uh, but let's see what happens. So I should note that uh, both of these tests, I'm doing two different uh, tests, two different motors. The battery is charged to 4.2 volts per cell, so fully topped off. And I'm running the testing down for about 200 milliamps, uh, down to 4 volts. So. And here's a look at the final numbers. Uh, looks like I was able to pull a little over 17 uh, amps out of that one motor. All right, so here's another motor. Let's see what it does. Ooh, looky there. Hit a 20. Fifty percent. Seventy-five percent. Hundred percent. I should stop before I vibrate everything off. Uh, look at this. So uh, I pulled a little over 20 amps out of that, 300 watts. So uh, that's my worst case scenario. So what does this mean? Well, it means I need to plan for at least 20 amps max per motor. That's going to be 120 amps on this hexacopter. So all of my electronics, connectors, and modules should be rated to handle that. It's possible. I've already proven it on the bench. But of course, also based on this test, if you look back at those numbers, I could probably expect to really pull about 10 amps normally. So anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you. Uh, I wanted to make sure I did that test. Actually, it turns out the motors are rated at a max of 24 burst. So hitting 20 uh, is fairly consistent with what the manufacturer specs are. So that's it. Thanks for watching.